want to, yes. But do you know how to tag your shit? Uh, when you when you wanna post it, I, I tag myself. The live? Yeah, the live. Alright guys, welcome to today's Friday. And friend on the other side. <laughs> and my new friend on the other side. So today we have a full class. I'm happy to have you here. And I'm gonna talk to you a little bit of what we're gonna do today. Today in the Anahuac calendar is a fire day. Masculine energy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the masculine energy. But I make a class with a mix of one one posture of each direction. Okay, so the class is gonna be really uh, flow. We're gonna be up, we're gonna be down, and there is a lot of uh, twist to disintoxicate the the, the system. Okay, the central posture is coming from the east, and it's called Tessie, the grinder. And what is interesting to me, and one of the things that make me flow with the posture is the intention of the posture if posture have an intention and the intention of the grinder is i melt in the bosom of mother earth so we're gonna have four four postures from the south north west and east and well i hope you enjoy and if you have any more questions after class we can stay and talk more about what is kinam okay so to start the class we're gonna we're gonna start in parallel position we're gonna find three lines in our body two lines that comes from the second toe comes up to the knee up to the hips and up to the shoulders my left side and my right side and one center line coming from my spine from the sacral to my crown okay this center line is really important because every time that I will be inhaling in and exhaling out, I'm gonna try to hug this center line with my body, with my organs. Inhale and hug. So let's feel this, bringing your hands, your fingers on your, uh, on your belly and your shoulder, elbows and shoulders up. Now we're gonna close the eyes and exhale down. Now, let's put attention in our breath. Inhale in. Expand the air inside you. Exhale, hug the center line. Hug. And inhale, breathe in. Exhale. Hug. Inhale in. Listen to your breath. Inhale into your nose. Exhale to your mouth. One more time. Breathe in. And exhale out. Nice. Open your eyes and connect your hands to the ground. Great. Now we're going to start doing the greetings. We're going to inhale, bring the energy on your center. Yes, and your elbows going back. Now from here, we're going to inhale, cross the right arm. Exhale, offer the clasp to the east, to the red day, the masculine energy. Connect with this energy inside you. Inhale, exhale, bring the hand down, put it back on your center. Now shift your weight to the left, elevate the right heel, step forward, press the air, elevate your heels, and make a quarter of a turn. Great. Inhale, in, cross. Exhale, extend. Offer your class to the north direction, to the shamans, prophets, and ancestors. Connect with this energy inside you. Exhale, bring down. Shift your weight over the heel. Step forward. Press the earth and move to the west. Inhale in, close your arms. Exhale, offer the class from your heart to 
the primo energy. Connect with this energy inside you. Exhale, bring down the hand. Shift your weight, elevate your heel. It's the forward. Press here and turn and bring down your heel. Inhale, cross your arms. Exhale, offer your class to the south direction, animals, plants, and all beings. Inhale, connect with this energy. Exhale, bring down your head. Shift your weight, elevate your heel, step forward, press, and quarter of a turn, and down. Let's connect with this macho mana, the hands, are called macho mana, the posture of the hands connecting with the air and now we're gonna make sure that we are in parallel position make sure that your toes are pointing forward great now the tailbone you need to bring it down the seat bones are down we used to go all the time with the seat bones up tailbone down and inside your core from this position we're gonna start shifting the weight side to side finding our center Inhale in, shift your weight, exhale. Make sure that you're shifting the weight with your whole body, not just your hips, your whole body. Use your breath to move. Now we're going to shift the weight forward and back to the heel and forward to the toe and back and forward. Listen to your body what is telling you right now and go back to the center. And now we're going to create circles to one side, whatever side you prefer. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, inhale through your nose. Finding the center of your body. bending my legs and bringing my arms up sitting down and now switch your hands down and extend your legs pressing the air inhale in and exhale down Separate the legs wider than your hips and turn out your toes. We're going to inhale, bring your arms up, and this time we're going to pick the energy from the air, interlace your fingers, bring the energy from your center line, from your heart. You're going to move your hands up and you're going to press the air and extend your arms. We're going to stay without air. No air. Inhale. Exhale, no air. Hug in the center line. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. No air. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Now I'm going to make a mashamana of a cuenco, like this, and we're going to put it in the terse cuello, the willpower one. We're going to inhale and exhale. Close your eyes and try to project through the cuenco. The energy from the center of your core is coming out and goes through the cuenco. Engage your gluteal to keep your balance. Inhale and exhale. Open your eyes and then your legs. And now interlace your fingers in the first cuello. Now we're gonna move the water inside our body. We're gonna move the hips one side and to other side. Inhale and exhale. Now be careful to shift your weight. Your weight stay always in the center. It's just moving your hips to one side and to other side. Yes. Hips, this the bones coming up, up. Use your breath. Center. Again, grab the energy. Transform body extend amplify the energy and go down this time we're going forward and back moving the hips inside exhale inhale try to don't move your knees great inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale center grab the energy down one more time this time we're gonna create circles with your hips inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale creating mobility exhale center focus exhale all the way Perseverance, practice the perseverance right now. Center, grab the energy and extend. No air. Bring down your shoulders. Great, close your ribs. And down. Great, from here I'm gonna bend my legs and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna sweep the air. Bring down. I'm gonna shift my weight and down. I'm gonna grab the energy and bring it again to my body. So open, step. Yes. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. side 
and close with the other leg. Use your breath. Inhale in, exhale out. Open. Exhale out. Step to the side and close with the other one. Yes, now to the, the same leg. Open and close, the same leg. Open, yes, close. Open, close. Open, and stay on that side. Now we're gonna make a challenge. We're gonna make the challenge of our balance. I'm gonna bring the knee up. Breathe in, connect with your core. Exhale, inhale in. Exhale, inhale in, and bring down the leg. Let's keep going, step. Exhale, inhale. up. I'm going to make on, on this side so you can see me. We're going to inhale. We're going to step back. Okay? Now, heel. Find your center. Your center is right in the middle. The heel is up. The toes are pointing forward. My hips are pointing forward and my shoulders are pointing forward. Okay? From here, we're going to inhale and bend the knees 90 degrees. And exhale, press the air and extend up. One more time. Breathe in. Now, find your view in front. Inhale, close your ribs. Sit bones facing down. Inhale. Exhale. Don't close the air with your knees. Now, I'm going to challenge. Breathe in. Hands up. Exhale like a waterfall of energy. Inhale, bring the energy to your body. You can continue here. If you feel that today is better for you here, that's excellent. Listen to your body. If you wanna get into the challenge, you can inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, last one. Inhale. And exhale. Now from here, I'm going to press my heel down. Yes, find your center. Inhale, elevate your arms. We're gonna do a stretching of hamstring. I'm gonna bring my torso down. I can bring my hands on my leg. I can go down if I if I feel it correct right now. Try to bring your hands on the floor, bring the front leg and a step forward. Now, better at the time, the last thing is gonna come up is your head. Bend your legs and come back. Slow, better breath of the time. Great, hands on your center and a step forward with the other leg. Great, find your center. Feel your seat bones down, close your ribs, hug the center line with your organs, with your body. Breathe in, and exhale, bend both legs without touching the air. Exhale, up, inhale, where is your view? Exhale, focus on what you're doing, inhale, exhale, great. You're coming down in the center line and coming up with the center line. Breathe in. Bring up a little bit your chin, Natasha. Yes, you can go into the challenge. one. Feel the energy. Oh. 
Great. Bring down the heel. Square forward your hips. Seat bone facing down. Toes pointing forward. Inhale, elevate your arms. And now we're going to bend forward. You can bring your hands on your neck if you feel it. Or lie on the back and go down. Bend your front leg and a step forward. Better about the time. I'm coming up. Great. Now let's prepare the first posture. The first posture is shallot. The I don't know if I'm saying right, the ask ask we ask we of I bring my body to free my spirit okay during this posture we're gonna put that intention in our heart in our mind okay to direct the attention of the of our body so we're gonna stay in parallel position we're gonna inhale bring one hand on your hips and the other one is gonna elevate to make a flexion of the spine inhale in now I want you to look up and to look down and look up and come up. Other way. Inhale in. Exhale down. Look up. Look down. Look up and come up. One more time. Inhale. We are creating a space for the posture, look down, look up, look down, up, and come up, great, close your legs, Serene, uh, Sinead, yes, and let's go other side, and up, and down, and up, and Great, now let's go to the posture. Let's cross one leg in front of the other one, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna feel like both legs, they're trying to, to uh, one is pressing back and the other one is pressing forward. So we have a, a pressure between the legs. Let's square forward. This is the most important thing on this posture, to square forward your hip. We're gonna work in the torso, but not in the lower body, just upper body. We're going to inhale, and close your hands and bring it on your heart yes from here elevate your, sh your elbows and relax your shoulders yes just elbows up great now from here we're going to inhale and exhale we're going to twist to the front leg inhale in and exhale come back forward Inhale in and other way. I bring my body to free my spirit from back center. Let's repeat. Inhale in. I bring my body to free my spirit from back center. Last time. Breathe in. I bring my body to free my spring. Come back and a step to the side. Great. Let's go other side. Inhale. Exhale. Cross the other leg. And breathe in. Hands up. Close your hands. And now they're on your heart. Breathe in. Exhale. Twist. Bring my body to release my spirit. Inhale and come back. Exhale. Inhale in. I bring my body to free my spirit. Come back. Be careful with your hips, Sinaid. 
Leave your hips forward. Inhale in. One more time. Twist. Yes, Irina. Then come back center. Yes. Inhale in. Yes. Keep. Yes. And I. Yes. And exhale. Come back. Step forward. Great. Now you can shake your legs. You can shake your arms. And now we're going to the energetic circle. We're going to do an hydration of the spine. So you can be in the at the end of your of your mat because now we're going to work in the air so we're going to be in parallel position you can see first how is the exercise of the energetic circle basically we grab the energy one more time in our body we're going to inhale and this time i'm going to release the energy offering to the air opening the arms at the same time i'm going to make an arch on my spine facing up after here when you exhale you're gonna do the opposite now you close your hands and you're gonna make a flexion of the spine concentrating the power in your body on your core from here you're going to uh, start uh, coming up pushing the knees the hips forward waving to the spine offering the energy to the cosmos from here, you're gonna move the hands down and you're gonna bring your shin down, coming better at the time, all the way to the earth. And then you grab the energy one more time and you bring it to your body to start again, okay? All of that with your breathing in and breathing out. Let's prepare facing forward and breathing. Exhale out. Breathing. Exhale. One more time. Breathing. Exhale. Breathing. Exhale. Better by the time. Feel your body, how they move. Now you can continue on your own rhythm. Keep going. Let's go, keep going. Inhale, open your arms. Yes, exhale down. Yes, and yes, observe yourself, forget about me, just listen to me. You're working with your body, inhale, exhale. stay with my hands on the floor and bend your legs so you can reach your the ground yes yes and from here we're gonna walk forward and bring the knees down to the ear okay now from here we're gonna look for the optimal alignment that means that my spine is gonna be like a table connecting to the crown and connecting to the seat bones make sure that your seat bones are not up and are not down you're straight forward facing the back now your shoulder is on top of the wrist and the hips on top of the knees make sure that your metatarsals are on the floor great from here we're going to bring down the sternum the center on your heart we're gonna bring it down and the shoulder blades are gonna get together in the back and from here we're gonna press to come back to neutral position 
inhale bring down the sternum and exhale coming back inhale yes now be careful with your neck Sinai yes it's just shoulders yes Natasha keep don't open your belly yes exhale and come up Now, without moving the spine, we're gonna shift forward the weight, the most you can, and we're gonna shift back the weight. Without moving the spine, the spine is straight and doesn't move. Don't arch your spine, don't flexion the spine. Just feel the weight on your wrist, fingers, Jam to the air. We're going to connect the palms of your hands with the air. We're going to inhale to your nose, exhale to your mouth, and release also the energy to your hands. of the north it's called Olama and Olama have the intention of I am the player in the game of my existence okay so I'm gonna be on the little position and we're going to inhale and we're gonna step to the side yes now make sure that your knee is aligned with your heel and your toes are facing to the side okay Really important to keep your hips square forward. Don't bring the hip up, hip square forward. Your seat bones are facing forward. And now we're going to elevate our arms. And the challenge is elevate the heel and bring the heel down. Elevate the heel and heel down. Inhale and exhale. Keep doing this movement. Meanwhile, I'm going to explain how to connect the knee on the air and growing up too. So it's two powers, biotensecrity, 
inhale in, connect with the air and connect with the cosmos. Now, inhale in, bring your heel and now your toes pointing your foot and bring metatarsal and heel down. Heel up, point, elevate, close your ribs, yes, exhale down. Inhale up, toes, metatarsal, down. Now you can continue with this exercise or if you want to go to the challenge, you will be breathing in and exhale, elevating the other side, the base side, yes, yes, now bring your shin up, yes, and down, now from here, the positive hand is going to be crossing my chest and the arm that the, of the leg is, is bent, I'm going to extend and bring my fingers down. We are in a llama. Now from here, I'm going to push my hip to the side and I'm going to rotate my head to that side, other side. Yes, and come back center. And breathe in. Up. and exhale center I am the player of the game of my existence press to the other side yes and come back center don't pass just to the center press and center so push your hip and come back center you can do it without the head or you can add your head I am the player of the game of my existence. Inhale in. Exhale center. Elevate your arms. Bend your legs. Bring your arms on the floor and bring down to the knee to all fours. One more time. Walk back to kneeling position, but around the time you're coming up. Breathe in and a step to the side great separate a little bit more the range natasha bring out your foot a little bit separate more 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 yes yes great now from here elevate your 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 belly yes sit bones down elevate your arms great and from here breathing in Heel up and heel down. Heel up and down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Let's go to the toes. Heel, toes. Heel, down. Try to maintain your weight in the base. Use your breath. Now you can keep going with this movement or you can go to the challenge. Breathe in. Exhale. Elevate the positive side. Yes, Rina. Yes. Two more. Now positive hand is coming down and extend the other foot with the fingers down. <laughs> now prepare your posture. Bring your heel down, Natasha. Yes. I am the player of the game of my existence. Yes. I am the player of the game of my existence. And come back center. Inhale. I am the player of the game of my existence now don't shift your weight it's just pushing the hip to the side and come back center is the movement come from the hip yes and center i am the player of the game of my existence elevate your arms bend your leg your hips 
go back to all fours and you can go to rest in pose. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and out. Come back to all fours. And we're going now to make an hydration of the hips to prepare the next posture. The west posture is called the Mickey, the dreamer. And to do this exercise of the hydration of the hip, we're gonna be in all four positions, in optimal position. And we're going to elevate one knee in the back. Now find the balance between these three points hands and knee. Now feel that you're projecting and you're not sitting down in the hip, in one hip. You are pushing up. And now this knee, I'm gonna rotate the knee coming to my elbow and I'm gonna start making circles, bringing the knee down and again up. And to the side and down. Use your breath, breathing in exhale breathe in focus exhale breathe in and exhale reverse breathe exhale breathe exhale one more breathe and bring the knee down and we're going to rest for a little bit, take the breath, exhale down, breathe in, exhale down, and come up, and let's go to the other side, find the neutral position one more time, close your ribs, sit bones to the back, elevate the passive knees, find the balance between these three four spots yes now rotate the knee to the side bring it to the elbow and knee to the down to the earth and again making circles bring in now be careful to put your weight on the leg of the base leg elevate breathing in exhale don't bend your elbows. Yes. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All the way, reverse. Inhale. Exhale. Try to don't move anything, just the hip. Inhale in. And bring your knee down. And let's go back. To rest in pose. Breathing in, exhale down, breathe in, exhale down, one more time, breathe in, and out. Great. Go back to all fours, and this time you want to sit to the side and laying down to the side. We're going to Temiki. Temiki have the intention of, I am impartial witness of a real dream. So there is different variation on Temiki. We're gonna do two of them. The first one we're gonna do, I'm gonna bring the bottom hand, blocking the, 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 um, I forget the word. Blocking everything, the sound. Okay, the, the idea. Uh -huh. The idea is to block the sound. So before we're going to block the sound, we're going to prepare the posture. You can be here and on on ninety degrees, a little bit more forward. Yes. And now from here, we're going to bring the foot together. This is one of the postures. You can stay here or you can stay here. It's up to you. 
okay it's up to you now if you choose to do this one this knee need to be aligned yes aligned exactly so we're going to breathe into your nose and exhale to your mouth and block the sound and say to yourself i am impartial witness of a real dream I am impartial witness of a real dream. I am impartial witness of a real dream. Now bring one hand forward, close your legs and now extend your legs try to find a line between your heels and your crown and one more time let's go to Kamiki I am an impartial witness of a real dream I am impartial witness of a real dream great open your eyes bring your hand on the mat bend your legs and push yourself to sit down and we're going to the other side close your legs forward and we're going to the other side bend your legs 90 degree yes knee hip on top of the other hip great breathe in and bring your feet together push back your knee yes and now block the sound breathe in i am i'm partial witness of a real and make a line between your heels and your crown and one more time block the sound inhale in exhale down stay there i cannot balance on breathing yeah. in it's like a stability breathing totally. in i can't Stand balance relax. like this or like this like i cannot it's like i'm moving in the fall this way this way like this yeah, it's like the other one I could balance just barely, but this one not at all. <laughs> not at all. Breathing in, breathing out. Put these hippies up. Ah, yes. Yes. Breathing in. I am a partial witness of a real dream. Great. Now, on this position, coming back, now we're going to bend the bottom leg. Natasha, you want to flip to the other side, okay? And from here, I'm going to press and bring my forearm on the mat, okay? Now, here, be careful with this, pushing up. And now elevate the other arm, and we're going to create circles with our head and with our arm. Inhale in, exhale out. I melt in the bosom of Mother Earth. From here, we're going to elevate 
and close your hands and bring it to your heart. Now try to feel both of the seat bones on the floor. And yes, yes, you can bring forward your knee or bring it back, it depends how you feel. And now elevate your spine and feel nice and tall your spine. Mm -hmm. And elevate, inhale in. And now we're gonna twist to the front leg I melt in the bosom of Mother Earth and come back and so other side. Inhale in and exhale down. Inhale in and exhale forward. try to keep your seat bones always on the floor even though you're moving your torso side to side keep your seat bones on the floor inhale exhale and now I'm gonna stay outside to bring the leg forward hands on the floor and let's prepare other side Elevate your arms. Exhale. Be present. Great. Breathe in. And exhale. High melt in the bosom of Mother Earth. Elevate your elbows. Tonight, elevate your elbows. Yes. Yes, Reina. Breathe in. Exhale. Bring down your hands at the level of your sternum, of your heart. Yes! Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale down. Breathe in. I melt in the bosom of Mother Earth. Center. Extend your arms, expand your energy. And now let's move side to side. Side to side. Inhale. Forward your hips, just your arm and your head. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. And come up, and now we're going to let's go one more time to all fours. I'm gonna make an activation of the body before to do the Nawali technique that today is gonna be the meditation. So go back to all fours. Okay. And now bring your your foot on point and this time we're gonna keep the floor bring the energy to your leg. Exhale. For you for your hips you too yeah i'm gonna help you we're going there's another way so you can sit down on top of the block or you can make your your mat like this and sit on top of the mat 
is to have more elevation of your hips so you can bring more down your your knees for a better position in a meditation so you can cross your leg you can go on half lotus yes you can do that we're gonna be on meditation okay so we're gonna bring the left hand up to receive just enough and what is fair and the right hand down to give the enough and what is fair okay and from here we're gonna elevate the spine nice and tall focus on your internal sound breathe in and when you feel ready you can close your eyes breathe in through your nose and exhale through your mouth and focus on your breath try to don't go with your mind if your mind cross any thought just observe the thought but don't go with the thought stay in your present help yourself finding the rhythm of your breath you can listen the birds the nature or find the beat of your heart Observe your mind and let it go. Stay in your present and what you're doing right now. This is a gift for you to me. Remind the intentions of the class. First posture, shauna. I twist my body to release my spirit. Olama. I am the player of the game of my existence. Me 
witnesses. I am an impartial witness of a real dream. Desi, I melt in the bosom of Mother Earth. So we're gonna grab one arm, those fingers like this, and we're going to say thank you now. What that is a glass of Kamati. Glass of Kamati, girl. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate. Thank you. Appreciate. Enjoy. Try to. I don't know if you feel the state. Try to keep this energy like this repeated all the time. The energy is really powerful, so don't give away your energy. Stay with your energy. Okay? Thank, Thank you. So much. you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you guys, the wonder in the house. Thank you so much. Thank you, Amy. Thank you guys. Joshua. See the dragonfly come out. Thank you, Coco, Tony. Noe. Have a great day to you too. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Lily. Thank you. Nati. Ciao.